Remember the laugh. laugh. Remember the love. Hashtag I'm just saying. Welcome to another episode of Hashtag I'm Just Saying. I'm yours truly, me and Michelle. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Thank you for coming through each and every week. I want you to get involved, ask questions, leave your comments. We have an amazing show planned today. We got a surprise special guest, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, I want to thank you. Thank you for supporting me each and every week. Thank you for just tuning in. You could be doing anything on a Saturday afternoon, especially with uh, as beautiful as it is today, although in Houston it's quite hot. It's hot in here today. But man, hold up. That's a, that's a Texas slang. Man, hold up. But um, thank you so much. Today, we're going to be talking about the legalization of marijuana and its health benefits. But before we get into that, man, let me tell you about that, that topic I had last week with the online shopping. So this is one of the nice dresses that I got. It's called from Lovely Wholesale. It didn't cost much. This one came back really cute, and I had on a little cute number yesterday. But that one bathing suit, it did not come like it said it was. It was supposed to be pants. It was a skirt. So for me... I say tread lightly with Lovely Wholesale. Uh, shop at your own risk. <laughs> now, you know we do a drink of the day every week. So this, I'm going to call the end up. Because we're talking about marijuana, I put a little cognac in there, lemonade, lemon juice, and blue Caraco. It was supposed to be green because, you know, yellow and blue makes green. But I think I put a little bit too much blue Caraco in there. But, baby, if y'all could t they already on their third glass. Mm. It's not. It, it is delicious if you had taste of vision. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. I get that. So that's Endo. In honor of marijuana. Although I don't smoke. In honor of marijuana, I made us a little weed beverage. <laughs> With no weed in it. So, this is my special guest. This, we've been friends since, my oh. God, since I worked at Chisler many, many moons ago. So, y'all introduce y'all self. <coughs> Daniel Martin, aka Dave Fetty. What's the name now? Dave Fetty. And what's your name now? My name is Lisa DeAndre Garcia. Woo! Now, y'all gotta speak up so the people can hear because I don't have my mics or whatever. No but today we're gonna be talking about the legalization of marijuana. If y'all can hear us, just give us a thumbs up. If we have any questions, let me know, sis. Anybody saying anything right now? Okay. So, marijuana is now legal in eight states. If it went legal in all 50 states, the pharmacies would, would lose like billions of dollars. I don't know the exact number because I forgot to write it down, charge it to my head, not my heart. But cannabis is more than 10,000 years old. Hemp was used in ancient China to make clothes and rope. Now understand this. Hemp really, it, it's the THC in, in marijuana, hemp, or cannabis that gets you high. It's not the CBD, and CBD is the healing agent in marijuana. We'll, I want to really cover a lot in this, this topic. So, and hemp is non-psychoactive. Let's be clear on that. So, all the people talk about, oh, it's the gateway drug. Yeah, it might be the gateway drug for somebody. Just like liquor. Everybody can't drink. You're going to have some alcohol that you're going to have. Some people that have a cocktail after work. You're going to have some people that can just go to happy hour. I just believe, and y'all help me if I'm wrong, that you need to be mature enough to smoke. Yes, I agree. I don't think kids should smoke. I agree. No. Nope. I don't think, I think you should, even 18, you know, the kids still, they're trying to find their way at 18. They think they know everything, but they don't. Yeah. So, you know, to me, if that is your thing, I think you should be mature enough, first of all, to buy it yourself. That's right. And especially, and let's buy it in a legal place. Right now, Texas is not a legal place. And I won't, okay, come on, Texas, get on board. Get on board because, whew, Lord, just get on board. Yeah. Get on board. Now, yeah, stop making people criminals. I yes, mean, it's come making, on. It's making people criminals right now. People that are sick, people that are suffering with anxiety, and they're having these problems, and the only way that they can help heal themselves is by using the CBD or the hemp. Yeah. The hemp. You know, the hemp now you can buy in smoke shops. That is legal and it is available. If you like smoking cannabis and you want to look for work and you need a job, but you like smoking cannabis, switch over to the hemp for right now. Yeah. I mean, because that is legal. 
and the, most shops will give you the paperwork with it. We give the paperwork with it, um, stating that there is no THC. So you're covered with that, you know? Okay. Um, now, by saying that does not mean that a cop or police officer could pull you over and you could go to jail. I mean, they don't know the difference. Um, I believe that they are coming out with some t test kits now mm -hmm. that they can test it, but and um, they'll be able to identify it right there on the spot. Because THC is the element that gets you high. They said they speak loud. They want y'all to speak up. Okay. Um, okay. So let me explain this. It was not until 2737 BC when Shang Nang from China used it as medicine for gout, malaria, and get this. Poor memory. Now, I, uh, now, I, the, the, he, he had that all wrong because back in, back in, you know, when I was, you know, yeah. Right, Man, let me tell you something. You was forgetful. Yeah. That did not help you with your memory. Yeah. So he had that one wrong. Throughout the next 3,000 years, the medicinal use for cannabis started to spread throughout Europe and India. So they used to drink it and put it in their food. They really didn't start smoking it till later. They also said, and hip is in the Bible mm -hmm. as a herb, and they used to use it to baptize. So it's been around since the beginning of time. So the Chinese used to mix it with their food. They used to drink it, and some used to grind it up and use it and put it in wine for surgery. So that was their uh, anesthesia. anesthesia. Mm -hmm. You know, so so. The now people, in that they used the um, they used the THC. Yes. They used well, that's they what, found a method and they were using the plant the opiates as well for the anesthesia. So they were blending the they had it down. Egypt the Egyptians and the Greeks had it down. Yes. But Muslims didn't drink. Mm -hmm. So that's when they would smoke and they named it hashish. Right. So that's where the name hashish came from. We have any questions? He says most of our older clients used to smoke MJ like cigarettes and never tested tested for it. Um and our drug screens. Yes, and here's the thing. The TA, the, the weed that our grandparents smoked and then our grandparents' grandparents smoked, that's not the weed that's out in the streets today. Right. The THC in the weed now, it's, the level is so high, it is nothing like, I, the, the day of Reggie is gone. Yes, <laughs> it is. And if I was still smoking, I would like, please bring Reggie back. Because the, the THC level is just way too high. Yeah. And here, here, here we go with this. If they're gonna make it legal, and y'all y'all chime in whenever y'all feel it, and y'all chime in whenever you feel it. If they're gonna make it legal, let's release some people in these states where it's legal now. One. If they're gonna make it legal, make it legal so if, if they're gonna be dispensaries, not not so hard for not minorities to get a dispensary. Right, right, right. Two, and if, if you're gonna make it legal, y'all just get, uh, let me know how y'all feel about this. If I can grow tomatoes, if I can grow cucumbers, if I can grow collard greens, why I can't grow the sticky green in my, in my garden? So that way I don't have to worry about pesticides, I don't have to worry about you amping up the THC. I know what I'm getting, just like I, I don't know what I'm getting at the grocery store, what's really organic. Mm -hmm. So at least if I'm growing it myself or whoever smokes, is growing in their cells, then they know what they're getting. You have people who have cancer. You have people who have all types of illness, arthritis, anxiety, anxiety and it and really helps. The list goes on. It's epilepsy, it, autism. Yes. I mean, it's it's ridiculous that parents can't grow their medicine that they need for their children. It should be allowed to, we should be able to grow it. But it's yard. taxes. It's about yes. the money. It's yeah. about the point. Yeah, yeah. When the money Absolutely. gets involved, the game changes, the rules change. And I believe that if they allow people to grow their own weed, crime will go down. Exactly. Crow, they say crime in Colorado has gone down tremendously. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and California tremendously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got it legal in New York? Yes. And that. And that. And, that. and um, Illinois got it too. Recreation. And I'm from Missouri. <laughs> Come on now. So I'm from Missouri. So um, well, let's talk about, okay, now here, here we go. By the 1900s, it became more of a recreational drug, right. opposed to a medicinal drug. By 1920s, <laughs> 1930s, 
illegal Mexicans were flooding the U.S. and offering cheap labor and cannabis, which they called marijuana, was, was their drug of choice. White America associated marijuana with Mexicans and they wanted them out. Mm -hmm. So that's when they started passing the law to make it illegal. Right. That's, that's when it happened. That's when Reefer Madness. Yes, started. and they started making these old commercials like Billy stole out my purse. Mm -hmm. Ain't no I ever say so. This is like, your brain on drugs. No, that was the 80s. That was the 80s. Yeah. That was the 80s. That was the 80s. Yeah, I go way but here's the thing. When I used to smoke weed, I never stole nothing from nobody. And all I did was want to do it and eat Cheetos. Maybe I just get some Cheetos. <laughs> that was it. Yes. Right. I not you used to have people on cocaine. They they have they're more lenient to people who have powdered coke mm -hmm. or meth. You can get rehab for meth on your insurance. Really? Yes. Heroin addicts, they, they have more liberties and freedoms than people who smoke weed. That's just the truth. You got any questions? Uh, no, uh, Rhonda is just saying, plus there are too many um, additives to MJ. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of additives, and that's why I would like for you to be able to grow it yourself. You control now, your own. To control, own control what's going on. Okay. So what you think about it? I, I done talked a lot. What you think about it? I'm going to smoke. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to drink this. Uh, I mean, I, I, I think it helps <coughs> some people. Like some, some people do it because they just think it's a fad. Right. You know, but a lot of people do it because it helps them in whatever it is that they're dealing with or going through. Yeah. You know, on, on the health side. And, and opposed to buying pharmaceuticals with all these other side effects that has nothing to do with what's wrong with you, you know, but, but you're spending this money Man. To, to buy these medicines. Do the commercial. That, 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 you have okay. a fungus on your toe? Right, right. Okay. Oh, we're gonna but, gonna get, <laughs> but you might get cancer. You might get lung cancer. You might, yeah, you might, right. like, well, you yeah. might have diarrhea. You might have constipation. Yeah. You might pass out. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never had none of that weed. <laughs> 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 Some people, I mean, really, all people, I would say it would help you far as, as your health. Let's say, let me see how can I say this. Make it plain. Similar, it it similar thing, it's, it's, it's a natural thing. It's a natural healing herb. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not man-made. Mm -hmm. most, most things that are man-made are man-made for profit mm -hmm. and not for your health. Mm -hmm. and, and these people don't care about your health, they care about your paper. Uh, you know, so do your research and get your knowledge and then you'll know about the marijuana and what, what it does for you, what's good for you. Because everybody growing up was always told, oh, don't smoke marijuana, it's a drug, it's bad for you, whoop de whoop. But nine times out of 10, those people probably never smoked. Yeah. And don't even know what it's about other than what they've heard. And some and of them this information that had they smoked, but they don't want their kids down. to do what they did. Right. So instead of saying, hey, let me sit you down, let me educate you, because right. here's the thing. Knowledge. If a young person is going to smoke, don't let nobody roll your weed. Yeah, you no don't doubt. know what they put in your weed. No doubt. Because you can, you can tell, that's like you're trying to tell a young person not to have sex. Right. Exactly. I prefer you educate. Yes. Right, right. Look, and, 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 and if they roll it, you say no thank you. Yeah. And don't add additives and preservatives to it. If you're going to smoke weed, smoke weed. Right, yes. right. Now, that's just me. That's probably where it came in with the gateway drugs. Yeah. You're, you're experimenting. Over, you're smoking weed and you're taking medication and then you might have to outside the drink. So you're mixing all this stuff. That's not weed. No, now you're doing all something these else. Things mixed you got it. Yeah, Rhonda's saying it's been used in me uh, it's been used in medicine for a long time. No doubt, it's smokable, yes, exactly. but not the pill form. Uh -huh. Not smokable, but in the pill form. Right. right. Come on, Rhonda. Hey, mom. That's the CBD. That's, that's what they're gonna get into the CBD. Yes. Yeah. Because my mom works in rehab. Yes. My mom, you know, uh, for those you know me, my mom has worked with uh, uh, opiate addicts. Pete, this boy ain't got his phone on vibrate. I did. But you know, she worked for opiate addicts. So for my mom to say something like that, it's, it's really, man, if you have a stressful day, okay, alcohol will give you um, 
Cirrhosis of the liver. If you drink too much. Oh, and this is legal all day, every day. I love chocolate chip cookies. And that can lead me to obesity. Sugar. Sugar. Yeah, yeah. Diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. And she was offered a pill during a cancer treatment also. Right. Yeah, she was. She was offered the marijuana pill. And I said, if you start taking the marijuana pill, I'm going to join in. I'm starting back smoking. But she said, no, she didn't want it. She, she didn't mm -hmm. want it. So let's talk about, we talked about THC. Tell the people about CBD. CBD um, is derived from the hemp plant. Right. Um, it has no THC, mm -hmm. although... When you use THC with the CBD, um, it becomes a very powerful medicine, okay? Um, that helps to heal the cancer and whatnot. So THC is a part, it is a necessary part in the CBD, uh, in, mm -hmm. take, in, in taking the CBD. All right. So that is important, um, but unfortunately it's illegal. So the best thing you can do now is just use the CBD because there are so many benefits with the CBD. And they're popping and, up and, everywhere. Yeah, CBD and, uh, stores are popping up everywhere. And, and, and if you're trying to better your health, I mean, that's the best way to go right now as, as it's looking until it is legal and you are, you have that option to get the THC. Um, and those are for the more serious diseases, you know, cancer, um, the people who have epilepsy, um, that's, this was a big thing for the mamas that with their children that had epilepsy and ADHD. They were really fighting to be able to get um, the THC in a higher dosage because what happens is these kids become um, complacent with the level and then it's not working anymore. And we know that through antibiotics. Right. Fact, if you've taken so many antibiotics, you get immune, they, to, you get it. immune to it yeah. and it has to go up. So yeah. it's very important that you know your your facts on, on the medicine that you're taking. And you gotta get, make sure you have a good source on your CBD because right yeah. now the industry is so open and it's there's very so open. many people that are out there selling you snake oil. That's what I was, how, can, how do you know, like how do you know when you're getting legit CBD? Um, you, unless you're going to third party test it or if these people are providing you with third party testing. Um, but you can, if you buy CBD, you shouldn't be asking for that third party testing. Okay. Um, it is just something that you, you know, you should be asking okay. for. Um, because um, I was because watching Dr. Oz. Mm -hmm. He was on The Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. And um, Dr. Oz was saying that they've tested even in pharmacies many forms of cbd and there was not even cbd in the product exactly it's just oh we got a question go yeah. ahead it says what are the true effects of cbd they seem to believe that it can cure everything okay um go ahead you got it um Take cbd it. does have so many benefits to um so many different elements in the body and you got to remember your body is, is a whole and vision your body as a whole. I'm, I'm also a licensed massage therapist. So when I tell you, you have to visualize your body as a whole and you're taking the CBD. When you're taking CBD, you need to up your water intake. It's very important that okay. you up that water intake. Anytime you're drinking water, you're flushing toxins out of your body. Gotcha. So. You know, a lot of people that have problems now, diseases and issues, nine times out of ten, it's because they're lacking water. Right. They don't drink it. They're dehydrated. Water. They're dehydrated. Okay. And, um, you know, we don't water, we don't give Coke and we don't give tea and we don't give, you know, drinks to our animals or to our plant, plants that we're growing. So why do we give them to ourselves? Yeah, we, we provide water in these areas. So it's important that we do the water. Going back to CBD though, um, it is so important that you know where you're getting your CBD from. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. If you're buying hemp on the streets or you're buying weed on the streets, pay attention because, you know, um, back in prohibition and the alcohol prohibition, the government, I'm so sorry, and I don't like to say that, but you know, a lot of people die. And right now, there's a lot of um, marijuana that's being found on the street. This cannabis is being laced with, what's it, fentanyl? Or fentanyl. Fentanyl. 
pesticides. And, and, it's, and it's dangerous. And that's know? because it's illegal. Yes. And so people are doing whatever they can to, to make doctor it, it up make so, to make it strong. So they have to allow it so, strong. Yes, I'm instead saying, of, yeah. you know, if, if we had, even if we had a dispensary, right. check it, if, if we had a dispensary, how long were people smoking cigarettes before we found out they had Ooh. all these things, rat poison, you name it, in cigarettes, and now you have these uh, cigarette commercials saying, please stop smoking, but yet they still make cigarettes. Yeah, and it's legal. Money, it's and it's money. legal. It's and my money. thing is, and you know, y'all can stop me, go jump in whenever you feel like it. How do we know that once marijuana is legal everywhere that they won't do the same thing to it so that's why i have mixed emotions about the legalization of it if we're going to make it legal then make it legal to where hey <coughs> i want to grow my collard greens and my sticky green i want i want it for myself yeah. instead of making it big business and you know you all you do have a lot of people out here with addictive behavior yeah. so if you doctor it up if you get because you can get a chicken a full grown chicken in a week. Yep. Yeah, big dog. <laughs> big business big is, making, is making chicken. I have you ever had the churches? Yeah. That's why I big gave them. That, that damn meat. chicken wing breast <laughs> thing, I don't know where they come from. And, and, That's all that steroids and stuff. Exactly. So, no, notice how all these kids are huge. Baby, you took the words right out of my mouth. Which, which is all the steroids. These fourth that graders that got boobs and booty, and yeah. that's because they eat chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And it's the steroids. steroids. It's the steroids. It's the steroids. And so, it's, it's messing our, our kids up. That's, and this is important right now. And, and this is why I felt. Yeah, I'm going to talk about your class. This is what I. Okay. I took the first hemp and cannabis course, or the first cannabis course that was offered here in Sugarland in Texas, in the state of Texas. I was, I just knew I had to be there. And so I attended this class and I said, oh my God, you know, because at first I wanted to have a, I wanted to grow because it was like, oh my God, I'm going to be a grower. I'm going to grow weed, you know, right. I'm going to heal everybody. I'm going to grow the best weed ever. Uh, well, there's a lot of laws and a lot of stipulations. Yeah. That. So, you know, I was like, uh, I don't think I want to deal with that. So then I went into, well, I'm going to, I'm going to um, have a lab and I'm going to test, be testing facility. And there's a lot of legal issues with that as well. Okay. So I stepped away from that. Okay. Um, then I was going to do CBD. I was going to have a CBD store. I was going to buy a franchise of a CBD store. And I was mm -hmm. like, no, you know what? There was just too much on that that I didn't like the regulations that they had on me. So I said, no. Um, but I, then I looked at the school because I'm, I feel that education is the, is the way that this okay. industry needs to move forward right. for now. Right. We education. have got to educate everyone before this becomes legal. I mean, and it's be gonna, a problem. It, is, it is coming and it is coming full speed. I don't know how much, um, you know, what you guys all know, but the Maxwell House factory, um, the Maxwell, old Maxwell, Coffee. Har Harrisburg, you know which factory that is? Mm -hmm. Okay, but well, that is fixing to be the largest extraction facility in the nation. Wow. And it is coming to Houston. And I have been telling people and I'm like, listen guys, there's going to be so many job opportunities, but if you don't get an education right. and you don't have some basic common sense and knowledge on this industry, and we're not talking just dispensaries, we're not just talking about um, growing the cannabis, we're not talking, let's talk about the industry. I mean, you're talking clothes, yeah. you're talking yarn, yeah. you're talking concrete, yeah. you're talking yeah. wood. You're talking um, plastics. Let's yes. change the environment. They use hemp for everything. Everything. That and in our classes at the Hemp and Cannabis Institute, we will be covering every aspect from seed to seal to packaging it. We are also going to be teaching how to open a business. We have instructors that are going to be there teaching you how to build your business credit. Um, and then this is, you know, you're taking the course. You could very easily walk away from this five-week course in the industry with us. This is what I'm, I'm trying to bring. Um, good CBD shop owners okay. um, um, that want a franchise, so you will be able to have an opportunity to look into that. I'm um, the marketing, the, the young lady, Shayla herself, 
who's going to be um, teaching in marketing. Um, she's looking to franchise her marketing industry. So if you're looking for a business in this industry, come and check out the school because okay. we're aligning it question. all up. Okay, Rhonda said, I always believe when government becomes involved, then there is something going on. That there is something going on. They don't become involved unless there's there's money to be made. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're absolutely, absolutely. Right. So this absolutely. is why I feel so you're I, I, I am I am very passionate about the school and developing relationships within the community. Because she's at you have Yeah, our classes will be taught out of the University of Houston. There you and go. listen guys, um if we build a networking group within our community then maybe we can get that license for that that dispensary because we need to make you know to let people know that we're here too right now i have two questions Go for it. um one is okay dr i <laughs> talked about the the cbd people coming together not the government but the cbd people coming yeah. together to have the the testing to yes. verify that the CBD is real. And if you really get into, I, I'm like really into with all these oh, different yeah. groups. If you get all this it, stuff, she got real past me some of that stuff. Like, it, ask me one of everything if you can get to it. I got you. In this industry, we have been meeting so many different people. And um, the people that we're and meeting and the people that we are bringing to the table mm -hmm. for the classes, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they. Mm -hmm. What's the big brown? The, the integrity. The um, respect that these people have, um, and these are the only kind of people CBD. that um, no that I want to bring to the students <laughs> because these people are going to want to really work with you. Um, Four minutes. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Keep your team They're here. gonna they're gonna be there, and they're gonna talk to you about their products and what they're doing. And you know, I have a, a my own product line here. I, Look I at it. She has everything. I have a question why you introduced her. Okay, so I've been doing hair for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And now my shoulder's not the same and my knees are not the same. Which which product would I use to rub like on my knees and on my joints? If you wanted something that I want to soft. charge again. I want to drop it like it's lukewarm. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a massage therapist. So okay. I created a massage oil. And this massage oil, it has the, the coconut oil because I like oil. Um, I don't massage with creams. I love the oil. Um, it has the CBD oil, and I put lavender oil in here. Okay. And, of course, you know lavender. Uh, I've been doing this for 13 years, my soaps and my creams. So, um, so when the oil goes into my knees, yes. just hypothetically speaking, when the oil goes into my knees, how long is it before they stop hurting? You're going to feel maybe something in about... 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't want, I, she should have busted open. I don't want to see for myself. You got a question? What is the percentage amount in these products? These are, it's a 200 or 2,000 milligram um, to a 30, to an 8 ounce bottle, 30 milligrams. Okay. Or 8, 8 ounces. Okay. So it's very potent. And I mean, that don't get you high. It does not get you high. Um, yeah, it does not get you high. I had front somebody said, hey, I tried this soap and uh, I didn't feel nothing. You ain't supposed to feel it. You're not going to feel it. Okay? CBD is the healing agent. Yes. I'm not the tetrahydrocannabinol. <laughs> yes, you're, what you're not going to get the high. Is the tetrahydrocannabinol. <laughs> and that's what most people like the... Half the people don't even tetrahydrocannabinol. <laughs> A lot of people smoke, don't even know what TAC means. That's right. Yeah. I did. I have now. You just gave me the, you just gave me the game. No, that was real. So right. we have um, several different products here today. I also have a dog shampoo. I do have shampoo. So you um, want to put the, CA, the, the CBD on the puppy? Exactly. Uh, and the reason they why you that. do that, the good. reason why you <laughs> do that, because there's a lot of dogs that have anxiety. They and, then, they and, and then they have arthritis the same way we do. They have cannabinoids the yeah. same way we do. So by using it in the shampoo, they actually have drops for it too in your, um, they actually have drops that you can put in your dog's food. And it's they other work. Dogs. Yes. But this is um, an oatmeal shampoo that I made for the dogs. I don't have the shampoo for um, um, the people right now because I can't keep it on the shelves. Okay. But I have shampoo and conditioner for women. I have shampoo response. and conditioner for we men got as well. well. She said that's an added response. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Which, which added response she's talking about? Wait. Be quiet, mama. <laughs> so um, we have the 150 
in CBD oil, we have the 1500 milligrams as well. And break down each thing and tell us what each thing does. Okay, well, the CBD depends on what strength you want. Like if you're gonna be treating your children, maybe a lower dosage, 150, okay. you know, or maybe you just get headaches every now and then and you wanna use something low or you're gonna, you know, a 150 would be good. Okay. But if you've got serious issues, maybe arthritis, you've mm -hmm. got some things that, you know, that is really going on, you want to go with the stronger one, the 15. And do you just milligrams. drop it in water or you, you would, drop it in your you tongue? You would drop it underneath your tongue and let it um, dissolve because it's sublingual. So it would okay. um, dissolve underneath your tongue and this is really great. So that would work for my joints too. Exactly. Okay. Right. This Runda is really she didn't too. feel anything. I didn't feel anything. Um, if you didn't feel anything the first time you used the CBD, then you need to up your dosage. So it, it, because CBD is so new and because this is so new for everybody, dosing is an issue. And nobody's going to have the same dosage because, you know, you're bigger than I am, you're di different. And I said, we've been taking drugs, regular drugs like, uh, Advil and even like uh, and, 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 and stronger and stuff. Yes. That just is. just like when you drink alcohol, you yes. know how much you can drink. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't need to drink. I can turn up. Some people gonna fall out. Right, yes. Right. Exactly. So, so that is the exactly that is the exact way you need to approach your CBD. You're gonna approach your CBD the same way. You're gonna put the drops underneath your mouth. This is the suggested is usually start with five drops. And then move gradually move up to eight drops, ten drops, twelve drops. It all depends. My husband needs twenty-four drops. And what's this right here? So um, Look, I'm that's here. another pain cream oh, as well. Right. It's another pain cream. Um, it's closed up, but um, oh, that one is nice as well. Um, this is him. Um, this is the four strands that we carry at Bayou City, and as you can see, it looks. And it ain't weed. I'm not going to jail. It no touch of hydrocannabinol. This is hemp. I mean, this is hemp. It smells just like the cannabis, but it has a totally different feeling. Now, let me back up and give y'all a little bit of history for me because y'all smoked back in. I never smoked in my whole life up until two years ago. Okay. I was that person, and I'm, mm, I was that person that was dope for Joe, saying, you know, and. Oh my God! You smoking pot? Get away from me! You know, I mean, I was. I, mean, that's I don't like the way it. I don't like the way it smells. Exactly, I didn't either. Real talk. I don't like like when I did used to smoke. I didn't like the way I smelled. I didn't like the way it smelled. I felt like it was nobody's business. And just to be clear, because my father was an addict, it used to make me feel some type of way. Right. You know, my dad was a heroin addict, and I've said that on my show several times. So when I began to smoke weed, I had issues with that because of the stigma yeah, yeah, that was put right. out there about marijuana, about it being a drug. So it made me have a complex. Mm -hmm. But I was most physically fit when I smoked. Um, I rarely got sick. Yep. I rarely got I don't really get sick now, but I rarely got sick. Now I have vocal issues. It's just a lot. You know, my weight was at its best mm -hmm. when I smoked. I but was 35 pounds. See, here's the thing. You can control your munchies mm -hmm. if you just drink water. Yep, exactly. If you mm -hmm. just drink water. And I'm a water drinker. Yeah. So. Feel that boy. Yep. How much is your class and when can they take <clears throat> your class? The first class is July 13th, and the first class, um, this class is $748. So say y'all coins. Yes, and uh, we did create a payment plan. So okay. if you need help, I mean, I'm willing to work with you because I really feel this is very important. And um, it's not even for, not just for the young people. This is the older generation, and I really, and I feel very passionate about the older generations, we've got to educate ourselves. My age, I'm 53. Because you don't smoke now, but you have. No, no, I do smoke now. And that okay. was because I'm a massage therapist. This hand started to lock up right here. Mm. And, you know, that was going to put me out of business. Yes, it will. Because I can't, you know, you do hair. Yeah, no, because my and shoulder it, now, it just yes. pops. So, you know, if you're on your feet or you're working with your hands, you need to be able to use your hands. And um, 
you know, uh, it was like, you know, hey, there's some medical cannabis, and if you want to try it, you know, it will help you. And being that I knew that it came from a dispensary and it was medical, I said, well, you know what? I got a full day tomorrow, and I'm going to try it so um, because I, I need to do it. So we have Smith CMG saying that in some states, the use of CBD, CBD oil and massage therapy is not allowed to be used or they can't get cleared, understand it to make a decision. What is your opinion or what, what you think that the states are so afraid of since there is no TAC in that form? Or yeah. just um, what they're afraid of. Let's just yeah. go down the line. Yeah. We yeah. all are afraid that. of that they wasn't the first to do it or have it, and they're not going to make their money. Exactly. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's because money. that big business pharmacies yeah. are going to be yeah. in trouble. That's the biggest trap in the world. Because <laughs> if you look at, the, at all, all the commercials, how they push drugs, mm -hmm. push drugs. Now I'm not going. Uh, this is help in everything. But if you can find something natural that yep. God created, right, that right. man didn't make, a pharmacy is big business. That's why people go to school to be pharmacists. It's mm -hmm. a legal trap. I remember when they told me I was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. And I was married at the time. And I could get my medicine. It was a heart medication that they put me on. And it was like maybe $15. But when my ex-husband lost his job, my, my prescription was like 60 bucks. Wow. Now, think about old people who are on a fixed income and their medication is thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Or you think about people who have cancer, who can't get help. That cancer treatment is thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. And if you can use TAC or CBD or the combination of thereof, and you can have that at home yourself, that is gonna shut a lot of stuff down. And that's why they don't want it legal. That's now right. you, oh, you got yarn, yeah. Yeah, you right. got clothes, right. you, you got how rope. much the products cost legal, I mean individual. It is the only she, Oh, you said how much the products cost? Yes, Rhonda. Well, um, it just, let's see. <laughs> I brought the price and the You got it? Right here. Okay, so the bars and are we'll soaked. And we'll put it in the description. I'll post it too. The bars are soaked, are all handmade. I make them myself. They're all packaged by me, labeled by me, everything. So um, these are $9.99, $10 basically a bar. The large variety pack, which is eight grams, is the same on um, the. The way um, things are costing on the street, I guess. I don't know anything about that, $80. but um, this was $80. Um, the four grams is $40. And this one right here, um, it has a grinder along with it. Um, you want to show, how, you wanna show how, how it works? I, I don't know how to open that. My son's one of his. Um, and then the different, the 1500 milligrams is $129.95. The 150 is true. The 150 isn't even on here. I'll get you the price on this one. The other one, the one that's 750 milligrams, is the 89. <laughs> 89.95. So they're within reason. There. I mean, I try to keep all the prices along with um, what the going rate is for them. Um, and the shampoos, um, $34 dog shampoo. I mean, that's just what it is. Same thing with the massage oil. So what? Uh, you know, you know, you know, yes, I'm on Facebook. We're on Facebook. We also have a website. You can go to www.vitalcitywellnesssolutions.com. Okay. And what's your Facebook page? And um, my Facebook page is Lisa Deanna Garcia. Um, I'll tag her and everything. If you're interested in CBD, you're not going to jail. I will tag you. Cause I'm I'm gonna get me some oil for my knees. I'm not playing. And sign up for the classes. Yes, the classes is really um um where I really would like for people to really start okay. off because the classes are so important. The people that will be there instructing. I mean, if you're trying to build a business, you need good business credit. You yeah. Know, to build a business, I have a gentleman, Mark Whitmire, that will be there teaching. On how to build your um, your business credit, and I'm talking, he's talking 90 days. You're gonna have, you know, 150 to maybe 500 thousand dollars at your your fingertips to be able to open a CBD business. Now, um, my or question any, is, business. Um, because it's so hard for minorities to get dispensaries in states that are legal. 
How hard is it for minorities to get a CBD store? Not nothing at all. Okay. It's just like opening a, any kind of store whatsoever. So the objective with the school that I'm hoping that we're going to have and that I'm working diligently trying to, to get is you're going to have an opportunity to franchise in any different, um, the, the different organizations that I'm going to try to bring in, um, CBD stores. So if you're a CBD owner store and you want to franchise, hey, contact me because I want you to come to the school and talk about your business and you can franchise, you know, with the students there because they will be trained. They're going to learn so much because we're going to go from C to packaging. We're going to discuss it all the way. I got another question. Uh, yeah, Smith is saying, I agree. I want to hear the opinion of some outside of my city. We have a case right now against a big pharmaceutical Johnson and Johnson right now in Cleveland County, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. We're going to close up. Um, if you guys have any questions, any opinions, feel free, even when the show is over, to leave them in the comment section. I'm going to post our page. And let's just get educated. I mean, like I said, I'm not a smoker. I, I Once upon a time in the project show, I was. Um, but I also understand that there are a lot of black and brown people in jail because they were riding with a joint. Yep. Right. I, and I believe if we were more educated, then kids wouldn't right. get hooked on other things because they would just understand the naturalness of marijuana. Right. Yeah, can I, I, I'm gonna yeah, say okay. something here. Look, um, here's the other thing, guys. This is what we all need to remember, and I'm saying this, I'm a grandmother of 21 grandchildren. Ooh, and, and, ooh, so uh, yes, so, <laughs> ooh, ooh, God, children. there's a lot of children out there, okay? And us as adults, we have got to be able to teach our children the difference between the hemp and the cannabis. Yes. And, and right now, our children are experiencing this like we did cigarettes back yes. in the day. This yes. is the new cigarette of today. The vape pens, all these things, and those vape pens are dangerous. Some of them are. So you know, and really, they are good. illegal. And they're illegal. So you so, get more time riding with a vape pen. Yes. So it's very important that we educate ourselves. To be able to teach our children because this is their future. Right, yeah. Right. And if we don't understand it, where's gonna be? Where's our place? Right. Yeah. You know. And this is why I'm just so passionate about the school. The school is the key, I believe, to um, to free the weed. If we're free educated, the weed. If and that, my friend, is a great closing. Free, 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 free the weed. Not free. So, free. free. You, do you have anything to, to add before we go? Just do your research and get your knowledge up. So let's get educated. You know what you're talking about when you're talking about it. Let's yes. get educated on the herb. That's, that's where it starts. You, you know, know, knowledge, just knowing. I, I'm not kidding. I was in the Capitol. I was at the Capitol. Mm -hmm. And I heard a senator say, and I'm not going to say his name, and probably couldn't even, even if I wanted to because I don't remember names very well. But listen, he said, that when he removes one gram of marijuana off the streets, he is removing 40 joints. <clears throat> yeah, everybody kind of just looked at each other and it was kind of laughter. Yeah, because they yeah. ate 40 joints? Not yes. possible. That's not, not possible. possible. They don't even know it's bad. That's not possible. Yes. So, I ain't that bright. I know that. It is, and they just throw stuff out there. Yeah. Because they know, well, they assume that we don't have this knowledge. And, and I need to back up a minute. It wasn't a senator. I'm gonna, I, I remember you rephrase that. It was a police officer going there to state um, why he was against it. Yeah. Now, I went to Moody's. It was during Moody's bill, um, 63, and that was my first time going to Austin. But I went by myself, drove up there, and I was like, I was so nervous because I had never been there and never gotten this involved that I'm in now and when I heard that and being that I mean I barely started smoking and even I knew that was wrong <laughs> I was like and then I was thinking well maybe no but no, no way that's possible. not there's no, no way, way possible. possible and then I looked around at everybody and everybody was kind of giggling 
And even the senators that were on, in Austin sitting on the thing, they kind of looked at each other. I seen them look at one another and then they just shook their head. They smoke. You know, because yeah. I know people, they don't smoke. They put it, they make the butter, they put it on their toes, yes. they put it on their uh, asparagus. Oh. I recently made, and I have it, <coughs> I have it with me, and I forgot to bring it for you. A sorry. CBD butter? Oh no, better than that. Hmm. I made, um, I got raw sugar, and anybody can do this, and this yeah. is simple, but raw sugar because sugar you buy the raw sugar is better for you right um and i infused the cbg oil mm -hmm. and honey okay and i used it in my coffee and i use it man you talk it changed everything mm -hmm. about coffee in the morning i'm talking <laughs> i was like, was like too wow food. this is nice and it it was it's delicious i mean you just want to kind of get it and pinch it and taste sweetener. it Okay. Oh, we got a question. Yeah, Rhonda saying it's evident uh, that this is the future of MJ. Our counter counterparts are already investing huge oh, amounts of dollars in CBD. You got people no. thinking the future of Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm with you. Thank y'all so much for coming today. And, you know, thank you so much for coming because she wasn't. She wasn't invited. I didn't know her. And he just popped up with somebody. I'm like, now nah, you know I do my I show at home. And I don't really like, yeah. but you know, this was good. I want people to get educated. You know, it would be get educated. I, it just was a strong urge for me to do this because I know so many people who suffer from addiction. I know so many people who smoke weed and the weed of today, it's like 75% more mm -hmm. THC in weed than in the Woodstock days, like 7%. So you got to know what you get. You have to be careful. Yeah. So I just want then, people to get educated. The addiction as well. Here's another thing. Um, you can be addicted this is, to cookies. The, the, That's my thing, uh, my judge. I had a, a lady just today, Latanya was talking to me today. This is um, Latanya with the Houston Cannabis Reform organization and her and I were talking I gave her some CBD and um, she's um, one of her medications she has uh, some health issues that she's dealing with and one of her medications is a pain medicine that they're taking her off of mm -hmm. or, or she can't afford it anymore I'm not real sure what that was but he nonetheless but she's going through the withdrawals now through yes. this process yes. and the CBD along with the cannabis is helping take the edge off of it right and you know i had a used to write to me recently and i had never understood um people on addiction i mean it really was something you know yeah it used to i used to look at them and think you know it's a mind thing you know how come you're not strong enough and how no. come you're not doing? let me tell you and if you're out there and you're on any kind of pain medication, you can be I was, for seven days and you're done. I was taking this pain medication only one at night after this hysterectomy, and it becomes. A I got addicted. It becomes. A I went through the whole withdrawals um, of addiction, and let me tell you, I have a whole nother respect um, for people that have to go through addiction and. I went through it, but I used the CBD, and I went through with the cannabis as well, and um, it really helped me. And being 53 years old and being able to be as active as I am now, walking in my heels again and, and joints not hurting mm -hmm. anymore, um, it's important. It really is that people get the education and get the right knowledge and the right information yes. out there. And, and because this is a powerful plant and we've got to know how to use it. Do you know that they say that they've only studied 2% of the plant? Yeah. They only know 2% of the plant. They don't even know all the benefits right, yet. Right, right. So and this was handed down to us from generation to generation. So I mean, the back the day. Day, this is our medicine. I mean, it you know, it, this that's why they don't want us to have it because they, you know, they know. Yes. Is that somebody saying something? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. um, you know, I just want everybody to get educated, join our classes. I mean, you will not be disappointed. Um, I'm finding so many great instructors to come out. I mean, we've got some really interesting people. I can't name them all yet. We're working through contracts and no, working no. through deals. But what I'll do is I'll post you on my page. Mm -hmm. I'll post the information on my page, um, on my Instagram page, as well as my Facebook page. 
If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to her. She's, and if you need her class, she has that information as well. Um, and let's just get educated. And if you're looking to start your own business yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, this this class is, is, is what this is about because you'll be knowledgeable of your product. Yeah. And anyone can probably invest and start a business. And we want to make sure know, everything you is real. Right. You yeah. have your knowledge and, and, a, and, a, and a righteous source. Yeah. And that's how you're going to sell your business because you know, you've got to know right, your product to right, sell your product. Right, right. So the education is going to be here for you. You're going to learn it. Right. And then you're going to be able to sell, you know, right. and uh, and believe in it because you yeah, know you gotta really, you gotta be educated on things you 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 sell and you have to believe in what you sell. Yeah, you gotta invest That's in what yourself. Anything you you gotta invest in yourself. Yeah, you, you can know? do this class as a business owner. Mm -hmm. So thank y'all for tuning in. Woo, this was good. Um, don't forget to tune in next week. I, I really was Gosh. trying to get on health as wealth in 2019. <laughs> so next week we're gonna be talking about. The vegan lifestyle versus the keto lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about Dr. Sabi and his lifestyle method. And just trying to get healthy because there's so many things. And I fell off my little program. I mean, I have, but I'm going to get back on it because my sister wants to do a 90-day challenge. And so I'm going to hop on the challenge. I'm not doing the water challenge, but I'm going to do something on my own. But um, So y'all might not see a beverage. Y'all might see something healthy. Who knows? <laughs> you know, if, if I'm a, if I'm, if, 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 I don't know. But um, oh, we're no, gonna eat out these drinks again. <laughs> so we <laughs> it's a different drink every week. But um, we're gonna talk about health is wealth again. We talk about that several times this year. And also, if you have the time on June 16th, I know I had Felicia Sexton on my show. And we had her book from Recovery to Discovery because my aunt was an addict. She was a cocaine addict for years. And now, you know, she's a, a, a bodybuilder. She owns her own gym. She's amazing. She's been clean 20 plus years. And she's doing a one woman show about her book. Um, oh my God, where is it? Down at the, it's downtown, Lord, and it slipped my mind. But the tickets are on Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. And they're $25. And if you want to see her show about the book, she's going to go through the whole book. Please get your ticket and come down. I'll be in the place. I'll be in the place to be. And I probably won't have a show that day. I'll probably take different segments of the show and then I'll post it. So it won't be a live show. But we'll have something that Sunday. No, no we'll have something that following Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all, remember to laugh. Remember to love. Remember to be the light and always bear good fruit. This is hashtag I'm just saying God bless you. See you next week. Bye. Now Two fingers. Peace. You pushed it.